What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's having themselves a great day, night, whatever time you are watching this. Now, we have exciting news. We have the first official trailer for the upcoming Kong Survival game that is coming out soon. Now, I know it's for a couple consoles and everything else. But before we start into the video, go on and get you a drink, a snack, whatever you want. I got me a glass of tea. And also, we are going to be reacting to this, yes. But we are also going to be breaking down the um, trailer and everything, see what we all see. So, let's go on and get into the video. All right, in three, two, one. Alright, so there, that's meant to be our first Titan. Titans attacked out of nowhere. Hello, this is Stacy Martin. Please leave a message after the beep. No one can tell why here. Why now? That's the million dollar question right there. All I know is that somewhere among that chaos and destruction is oh, my daughter. Lives. Okay, so this looks like to be like a side swipe, a side um, view game. Okay. So this must be our main um, character that we play as. So okay, we're gonna have to fight to find uh, other other people in our game. There's our spider. Ooh. Ooh. But I can't do it alone. Is this where Kong gonna come in? I was wondering, is Kong even gonna show up? Is he? Oh, there he is. I was wondering if they were even gonna show him in the trailer. Since it's a Kong game. <gasps> Team Matt's coming back! Okay, it's coming out this fall. All right, so we have just watched the trailer. Now we are going to go on and break it down a little bit, see what all we can see during the trailer. But right here, we do see that it says um, blood at in the um, thing. So this is rated T for um, teens. But um, grand, none of us really pay attention to that. I know I'm not. I recommend y'all just go out and buy the game now. Don't. Get my words mixed up, but um, but yeah, we're going to start going on. So right here, we are looking at, apparently this is meant to be Abaddon. Now, at the beginning, yes, um, I was actually going to make a custom figure of Abaddon, but find out, I finally got everything that I was going to do it with. Then this, then I saw where this started to pop up and it said Abaddon on the thing saying new Titan for the game. And I said, wait, let's wait a second before I start working on that. And then find out, no, at the beginning, I thought to Abaddon was going to be like a cross between a Prey Mantis and um, a Scorpion. Where it's like the Prey Mantis top part and the Scorpion's. Um, for the bottom of the legs, legs and tail, and our thing is what I was getting ready to make. I still might make that because that is mostly like what we see as concept art and everything else. So let's think on that route. We get a giant spider. I kind of thought because at first I thought because they were talking about a bat spider type thing. I heard about. I was um look. Looking around on one of my um, movie apps, there was this film um called um what was it, Forgotten World or Forbidden World or something. The tra the um, cover of that had like this spider um creature with bat wings on it. I was kind of thinking, was that what's going what it's going to be? Find out. No, we're getting a spider with a skull on its back. I mean, the design still looks kind of cool. It'd be nice to see this in the like in a movie. We might, I don't know, because he's fighting Kong. Kong normally doesn't let his um, enemies um, go like Godzilla will. Like they um, submit, they Godzilla just lets them be unless they um, um, make up more trouble. With Kong, it's like he fights just 
to win. It's like you, if he's got to fight you, you, it's like it's over for you. He doesn't let um, um, his enemies go. Instead, um, um, sorry, I was t thinking, um, what's the giant bat's name? Um, I'm so sorry. I, I'm having, um, a thought bubble right now. Camazox, that's it. I am so sorry. It took me a second to think of it. You gotta look at it. We got all these um new monsters popping up. Like the like the character just said in the trailer. We got all these um monster titans um popping up and everything. So it started to get like um trying to think which ones we're talking about. But no, Camazots Kong threw back down into the um, into the pit and back into the uh, abyss we could say. We don't know if Camazot survived. Or what? Now, I, I kind of thought of eight that we were going to see Camazots team up with this, but we did see something else at, at the end. We'll get to that. And yes, I did say something earlier about team map, but um, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. But um, but yeah, well, let's go on because all we see right here is just the top part of his um, back where that skull like is. Yeah, see, there's that skull right here with the eyes. Right here, and then it's like this nose part, and um, it looks like it's actually more because look at back here now. Like, is this just like the, so? Um, we just got a Kong game at the beginning of, uh, not the beginning of this year, um, the end of last year, of Rise Rise of Kong or whatever that game was that I played on here, but we fought a giant spider, and our thing. So, what's, the, hang on, take this off, but, um, what, where's the difference at, because I kind of was thinking we were going to see something more unique, um, but no, no, I'm not saying that the design is bad, I do like this design, it's kind of cool and everything, you got a skull on the back of a spider, and everything, but, Maybe maybe we we don't know what it really can do. Maybe it can do some um awesome stuff. Maybe it might be able to sprout wings. That that would be something to see. If we can play as Kong in the game and our thing, so that might be something we might be able to do when it becomes like Kong comes in and our thing. We have to fight this off to give our human character time to get away. Or something, or I'm hoping Kong ain't just, we we don't get to play as Kong at the very end of the game. Or will we even get to play as Kong at all? That would something, that would really, I'm going to say that would suck. That would be just bad right there. You have a Kong game and we can't even play as Kong? That, that would just blow my mind whatsoever. I mean, yes, the game is, looks like it's like uh, just going... Um, on that flat service side swipe or whatever the game is type called. But with Kong popping in and you're fighting the spider, I don't see how you would do the side thing. That would have to be like open um, thing. That might be something that might happen. I, I don't know. It's too early to really tell. I mean, yeah, we saw a little bit of gameplay, but and everything else. But uh, let's move on from that. There is is by Legendary and uh, all seven levels. Okay, and that must be his daughter. No one can tell why here. Why now? I want to know where you at. All I know is that somewhere among that chaos and destruction is. My daughter. And we do have, oh, I had it paused at the right spot, but then, it, like right here, we do see the monarch symbol right here. So there is a monarch post at this location. Now, I want to know something. If they know there's a titan, like, living beneath the city, why not tell everybody, hey, y'all have a titan here. Y'all need to be on alert. And they didn't do that. That's one thing I've never understood. If they know, to, this Abaddon is one of the times that was on, in 
Godzo, King of the Monsters. His name was on the monitor and everything. So they knew he was in this area. They could have told the people, hey, there, or so, I don't know the reason for that. I mean, you would think for safety, they would put, oh, we have a Titan in the area, be on high alert. Or y'all, your city is too close, you got to move. Or something, or have some type of fail safe. I know they had like the their um equipment and everything, but we all know how that ended up um turning out. That just but um I I don't know where this game takes place after. Is it after Godzilla um versus Kong? Or is this beforehand? Like in um in um 2019 or something but it can't be because kong is still on his island and when they were fighting they were in hong kong fighting so i i don't understand how are they going to actually explain how kong gets here or is it just gonna be oh kong just showed up out he just popped out out of a hole and everything oh, and he's gonna help this guy fight um, Abaddon, uh, it's too many, it's like, it's plot holes that I don't understand, and I'm hoping they're going to explain that, because yes, um, after the movie, before Kong goes into the Hollow Earth, he could have, um, started wandering around, they could have moved, tried moving him somewhere else, and hopefully this will explain that, instead of just saying, oh, there's an entry point, Kong pops up, after hearing a call and just fights a spider out of nowhere. I hope they don't do that. That will be bad, right? And that's the case. And they actually explain, oh, Kong is, we're moving Kong somewhere. This is close to where something else is. We got to be on alert or something. I don't know. I'm I'm sorry to get too far into the rabbit hole right here. I'm so I'm so sorry, everybody. But also, I know a lot of y'all probably be at, are asking the same questions as I am. But um, we're going to move on. We do see these uh, whips. So I want to know something. Because of the spider going like through the buildings, is it um, shooting the whips onto the buildings to keep them from falling over? Or what? Because, I mean, you would think a monster going through the buildings and everything would just keep going and wouldn't worry about shooting webs at a building. Does you look at this, how the webs are right here going from built wall to wall? Yes, I know spires make webs and everything else in the webs are kind of like this anyways, but it looks like it's for a purpose. Now, yes, I did notice, and we will see that, and I will talk about it when we get to it. Dog. I know one thing, looking at this game, how it looks and how we have the, the dark scenes, I pause that when it's like a daytime or something, but it kind of reminds me of like little nightmares almost because it looks like you got like, and I, it will pop up where he's got kicking something to open a side door or something, but it just reminds me of little nightmares for some reason. Like right here, this is where I was talking about, and right there. And the kind of like that thing, right? Okay, right here, right here. Oh, not right there. Um, okay, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm trying to get it. Right here, we do have these little, small, well, not small, but um, two um, big spiders right here. Now, these spiders don't look like they're, um, I, I don't want to say, I, is it going to be the mother of these spiders? Is that why she uh, goes after him? Because she he's um, taking out all of her um, young ones? And aren't they, I mean, that could be a reason. Uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that we do, we're going to be finding some small spiders. And apparently, like we just saw before I could get right here, we will be finding other people to get by. Now, I wonder... Why are we find other people? Why not? Why is all the, I don't understand that part. 
I mean, giant monster attacks, I don't think anybody's going to be really be in the city to really stand in your way, unless it's the Monarch crew. And that, that, I can understand that part. But, uh, like right here, this guy, I, before I could get, he did have like a symbol on his um, vest. Now that could have been a, and I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to find, get it right here. Is that like a Monarch symbol right here? Is this guy part of Monarch or something? Or is this guy just some random person going around and just trying to rob everybody or just take you out? I don't know. That's one thing I don't understand. But, I mean, that's just how the game is to give us other things. Just like right here. I do not think these guys are part of Monarch or anything. They got a riot shield right here. And we do see, oh, I just noticed the Monarch building and B set. Monarch. I, w I can't read what that says. I'm sorry. I see B set. But uh, I don't know what this says right here. I see the Monarch building. Oh, I can't tell. Is this building destroyed or is that part of like the wall part right here? That might be a dest destroyed part. And this is just part of the floor right here. Yeah, that's destroyed. Okay, I see it now. Now, it would have been something you could see, like, um, Abaddon or something else walking around. We got another poster going on over here for something. I mean, I like how the city looks. I like how everything looks right here. Looks kind of nice. We still see the spider webs connecting the building. So, are you just climbing on one tall building through the game? Or are you actually going through building by building? Well, it must be because we did just see a building fall earlier and everything. Let's see. So what's going on? See if we can get... Oh, no! What just happened? I was trying to see if, if we could get like a close sh um, look. Okay, we weren't. Like right there. I don't understand why. This is a... Titan, why is it just uh, targeting our main character? He had to have done something, and I'm thinking he attacked or he fell into the nest and started uh, taking out, took out a couple of the small spiders, and that must be why she's the Abaddon is ap after him and everything, or that's just me just. Talking nonsense right there. That's up in the air at the moment. But I can't do it alone. Okay, we can't do it alone. I want to know how did the... this have to have been in Boston or something? I want to know how did he get his hands on the orca? Because right here it says orca monarch. I think. I hope I said that right. We see see the monarch. Like, is there multiple buildings? Are we going through different cities? No, because this is... I don't think the, the monster would chase the one person through town after town or city after city and that thing. I don't think it would. But I, want, I would love to know, how did this guy get the Orca device? Because I thought that was destroyed and that thing because how close... Um, the woman was, I forgot her name, was to King Adora when Godzilla did the, the burst and everything. She was too, she was taken out instantly on that first burst. And then it's like the orca would have gone destroyed too. So how did this, please tell me this game is going to explain the plot holes. And this person is not just going, oh, oh it's right here. It's already put together. I got it. Don't please don't do that because I don't think they had like different. Um, I thought it was only one machine. I didn't know they made multiple ones, but um, I could be just going too far into this and everything. But we got to know the questions. We got to know the answers. Like, how does this line up with the movies, or is this just its own thing? Alright, come on, show us that beaut that smile. Just look at that. Look at that. I mean 
And we see the legs, but what's up with this song? Uh, is this like armor on its legs right here? Or is that like, is it's like got these weird ten, not tendrils, like um, muscle fiber right here going from the legs out on the outside. So is this thing got muscle tendons on, on the outside of its arm? Um, carapace, I think that's the name for that um, shell for insects, the carapace. We see these, uh, we we got these um, little, like, air sacs, it looks like. We got the bat-like um, teeth, or, yeah, because it has, like, a bat's face, but spider face fused, and I kind of love it, because it's, it's something new. It's like, if you didn't have the other eyes right here, whatsoever, take these other eyes out. And our thing, you would think you're looking at a bat. But with the eyes, gives it a spider look with a bat look. How many legs does this thing have? One, two, three. It only has three legs. I mean, not three legs. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I meant six legs. I am so sorry on that one. Okay, so it has as Unless there's another set of legs behind these ones right here. Because we don't see nothing coming out, like, coming from here up for the fourth legs. So, is this got as many legs as Scylla? And if that's the case, is this like a, um, like, Scylla is a sea version of this. Like, this is land version of Scylla. Like, you have, like, some animals or some things that can go on land and water or they look the same just like a sea snake and a regular snake i i don't know that that just kind of look um came out of nowhere on that thought but i do like the design though i like to know what the back of it looks like and everything like does it have that big back like a spider or is it just a skull shape like rounded, like skull shape, and that's it. Whatsoever way it has, it's like that. Got these all uh, white with the black right here for the eyes. As just so, like let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, got eight eyes, six legs, a skull on its head, or for its back, it's like on top of its head. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's eight eyes. I just looked right here and I was making sure that I'd count it right. It said how it got this wide mouth and everything. You know what this almost looks like? It looks like almost that spider Godzilla fought in the animated series. I forgot what the episode was called, but I know he fought like a giant spider that had like this lo almost look to the face. Almost, I think. But no, this just looks amazing. Looks, I'm glad that it does not look like it's a spider with bat wings. But this, now how do we know? Oh my goodness. Imagine, does this might be the case. These right here could end up being where the legs could just fold, like go from this and just go together like this and it could glide. Oh my goodness. Just a mat, just think about that. Oh, a flying spider like that. That would be that. That actually sounds awesome. And design because look, if we look right here, because here's the leg, right? And then we got this part, and we look at right here. We have these like muscle fibers or something going on right here on the legs. They have to be there for a reason. So what if the legs on top are not really like spread it like a spider's like this, but instead have like this that ribbon look right here. And when it like jumps or something, it could glide. That's why it's like a bat spider type. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I need I need to go move on. Ooh. We're talk I got way off top there. I'm sorry, everybody. But hopefully y'all are still enjoying the video and y'all are still watching everything. Let's move on. Oh my goodness, we did see the back. We do see the back. Here's the skull, and it does have a long back. Wait a minute. One, two, 
three, four. Oh, so this does have eight legs. But look how close these legs are. And these legs got this part, but and everything. So maybe they're okay, so my idea of the legs being like webbed. <laughs> I should have just kept watching. I forgot. I didn't even catch this at the because how fast it goes. I didn't even catch this at the when we were just watching it. <laughs> but it still would be a neat idea that for it to be glided and everything would have been neat to see. It could still do that with these though because it's like we see the muscle fiber. We got this part right here for some. When we see the fibers going from here to the legs from the body so these right here have to be for something i don't know what they're for and we will find out hopefully in the game and they don't miss opportunity there but we do see this like long on the sit being like a the spire part right here and then that it's like one long piece to the back right here like a spider okay so it's more of a spider with a bat's face. Man, I kind of would have liked my, that idea better for the, the wing thing, but let's move on. And we do, oh, wait. And we do see Kong right here and everything and all of his glory coming in and punching or pushing back the spider away from our main character. Now, like I said earlier, I do hope we do play as Kong some part of the game or like the uh, Peter Jackson game where you play as the person, play as Kong, and you just swap back and forth and everything else. But it's something I'm hoping for because of this. But looking at just like, we, get, we do see a little bit more of that round um, back I forgot what this part is called on a spider. I'm sorry. And then we got the head down where the head's over here. And we got, we see a better look. Oh no, the head's right here. It's just looking straight up and makes that skull look even better with the eyes, nose, and the teeth right here. It just makes it more look like a skull when you can't really see the eyes, but the eyes are right here. But who? Okay, and then we get the title, Kong, Survivor. I don't know what that word says. And we do get... Wait. Okay, so it's not going to pan out anymore. So we do get Tiamat. Tiamat is making a return. I want to know something because in the movie, her fins are not shaped like this. She has a long um, fin... Um, um, fin going down her entire body like all mm, excuse me all these are connected on the body going down it just like how you see like in sea dragons and everything else they got that one long um fin from the their head all the way down the tail on tiamat it's kind of split from one on top of her head going to the back then it goes like right above like the where the shoulders are it starts going on the side, like going like splits from one to two, and then you got the ones between the arms and legs. Then on the tail, it's like kind of like four fins going straight down to the tail. So this right here, I don't understand why is this like this whatsoever, because that is not how it is in the movie. And how and when I was working on my tear mat. How many times I'll rewatch the same scene, slowed it down, and everything for that. I, I should know that's what it looks like because how many times I slowed it down and everything. And even when you see her body rise up to the surface, it's like it's all you can see that's all connected as one fin where it has like that one barb, like this part would be connected here, and you would have this bar part. Then this fin part connects to that one. All the way down instead of being like split blades going all the way down the body. So apparently this looks like as I don't see Tiamat coming. Now this could be before she gets to the water, like on her journey to the water or something, and she passes by these two and ends up. But if that's the case, how 
This car, like I said earlier, Kong does not fight enemies and just lets them go. We have not seen that in the movies whatsoever. And if he fights Tiamat in the game, is that is that just foreshadowing? Of uh, Kong's gonna uh, beat Tiamat, or is Tiamat gonna beat Kong and Kong and she just escapes and Kong like gets up and chases after her and she gets to the water? He just says, ah, "Screw it." We don't know. I'm I'm kind of confused on that one. Abaddon, I'm actually sad to see be taken out because. It's like in the comics and everything else. If it's in, like, um, because apparently with this being legendary and everything, this is mostly, like, almost canon. So nobody, I don't know if this is canon to the films and everything, or is it its own little spinoff? And if it is, that's fine, because that gives us hope we could see Kamazon. I mean, not Kamazon. Uh, Abaddon, I am so sorry. Abaddon, one day, and film but if, if it is can that means if kong takes abaddon out we don't see him whatsoever as i know there is there is some another time that abaddon has a feud with i forgot the monster's name but it's like a scorpion um uh, or beetle beetle like titan that abaddon is meant to like to have a rival with and I would like to see that in the comic book or in the film. Mostly in film would be better to see that. But I don't see, because we have not gotten like any spinoff movies yet whatsoever. It would be nice if we did get some spinoff movies like other Titans and that thing. But maybe one day we might get that. But, um... If we There it is. We hear we hear Tiamat's roar at the end. We heard Tiamat's roar at the end, so I'm gonna go on and end it there. So um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you stuck to the end of it, thank you for um, listening to me rant and everything. I'm sorry that this video is a little long, but um. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it, and I hope to see everybody next time.